Hey, welcome to the next RP1 Cobbles episode. If you don't know me already, I'm Echo Original. And to be honest, the views on this series aren't that great. So if you like this type of content, please make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment to let me know that I should continue it. In today's episode, we are going to finish the two downrange contracts we picked up last time and failed. <laughs> And then we will get into something exciting. Rocket planes. So we are picking up where we left last time. If you remember, we failed to launch the A4B and I actually figured out why we failed that. But we will get to that when we get to that. First, we need to launch the A4A for another contract. So this is the contract we are going to fulfill. Reach 360 kilometers downrange with 335 units of sounding payload. Our ascent profile is pretty simple. As you can see here, we are aiming for a final flight path angle of 45 degree. All right, let's set it. Current, enable, everything else should be fine and launch. Let's make sure the telemetry is on. A lot of check marks on the contract. I only need to reach 140 kilometers in altitude and 360 kilometers in downrange now. And engine burnout. We're definitely way above the 140 kilometers we need. A current upper apsis is at 178 kilometers. And the rocket is doing its happy dance. <laughs> One hundred forty kilometers is checked. Downrange to eighty. Let's check here. It's more accurate to fifty to sixty. All right, done. And now it's time to get into exciting stuff: rocket planes. So from the money we earned. By doing that contract, we should be able to build this. By the way, I couldn't show you how I built this plane. It took so much offline, uh, off cam time <laughs> to tweak it, then simulate it, tweak it again, simulate it, and so forth. All right, building. Uh, no, first we need to tool the tanks.
Oh, I'm already in tooling. Uh, what would the tooling cost be? 936 here. We can afford that. Oh, it's even more. Why does it even to total vessel cost if all parts are... Oh, that's the cost of the after plane when we tool everything. 7,000. Ooh, dear, that's... Uh, that's uh, quite expensive, but let's do it. And I need to unlock 9 parts for 15,000. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's leaving us with not much. Oh, I, I won't even be able to build it. So let's quickly grab a contract for the required funding. Break the sound barrier. Launch new vessel. One crew member reach Mark 1. And hold it for 30 seconds. Oh yeah, that's 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 enough funding. Let's grab that. And explain slow. Hold between 4725 and 5725 meters. One crew member altitude. Da, 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 da. Reach specific altitude three minutes does it mean i have three minutes to reach the altitude or do i have to hold the altitude for three minutes i guess we will find out <laughs> oh but i can grab that yet signs i only can take two contracts okay then we will grab that one after we have done the A4B mission. So now we can afford to build it. 15k. Yes. Added X1 to build list. Good. And for the details, we are using this XLR11 engine, which is a rocket engine. So this is not a fighter jet or anything, this is an actual rocket plane. As usual, we have some elevators on the back, which also work as um, roll control. So they do pitch and roll. That does yaw. And these are air brakes that move to the right and the left to slow us down. We also got the drag chute or drogue chute that slows us down on landing so we don't overshoot the runway. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. There's a tank, wings, gear, and a cockpit. And of course, all the nice decals, uh, decals. The decals, decals? How do you pr pronounce that? I always say decals. But there, there seems to be an ongoing fight in how to pronounce that right. Of course, our astronauts or pilots need to know how to deal with this plane. I already trained them in the proficiency for the X1, but now we need to train them for specifically the missions. Let's go with... Hillary and Udo. Udo. will take eight days how long will the building take so we're still building the a4b for 120 days and then the x1 needs another 87 days to build so mm, yeah why not let's train these two and after that the other two and then we should have four pilots able to fly the plane All right, now it's time to crack the 3,000 kilometers of downrange for real. I hope, if nothing goes wrong, let's launch. Oh, 
when the issue last time was I had in the settings this disabled so when I decoupled the first stage with the avionics the ascent guidance cut the throttle that's why the second stage didn't light so always make sure that's enabled in your MacJap settings Ten seconds left. At about five seconds, I will start to spin up for stabilization. Oh, that was a good separation. Nice. Oh, and I'm using the support hot staging uh, for the ascent guidance, so I don't have to do that manually. Oh no, what, what happened? What happened? Why? 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 No! Ignition failure. So it looked like it was just a regular ignition failure. Oh dear. <laughs> the engine gods don't like us today. Yeah. Failed to ignite. Damn it. Well, I don't think we were reached to 3,000 kilometers that way. <laughs> so, I guess another try is needed. But we have an apple of 363 kilometers. Maybe that gives us a few milestones. Looks like we already got a few. Unroot speed record of 3,000 meters per second gives us 9.8 then uncrewed speed record of 180 kilometers another 5.5 and another 5.9 for 200 kilometers Another milestone, 300 kilometers, 8.4. Huh, which gives us or brings us to 50 million. So at least I should be able to upgrade the uh, VAB and probably put some points in RD. Or maybe, maybe like one point in each. Yeah, we made it to about 1,200 kilometers. Not quite enough. And we are about to burn up. Alright, I added another A4B to the building list and... I think we have to postpone the X1 by a bit. Because we want to grab that second X plane contract. And we are limited to having two contracts, so we need to fulfill that first. Oh, and let's also grab two upgrade points. Badoom, badoom. Put one in the VA and one into RD. Oh, there's only one lined up and that's almost done. So let's grab some new technology. 
but we only have 6.2 points left. Oh, we are a little short on science points. It's not good. Avionics prototypes, early science. What do we have up here? We need that first to upgrade anything else. So we can only get these two. Procedural avionics upgrades. That's always good. And what's that? We can't afford that. But early science. The iron mass spectrometer and advanced biological capsule. Good. Let's grab that. Yeah, that will keep the scientists busy for a while. <laughs> and there we go again. Third time is a charm, right? Let's hope it. At launch! Please work out this time. <laughs> The worst that could happen on my side now is to forget to spin up. So, brain, remember, spinning up, very important. Twenty seconds to go. Fifteen. And ten. Time to spin up. Perfect light on the second stage. A little bit oscillating, but not too bad. So, five seconds. Yeah, it worked, it worked. Now, please just burn all the fuel and we will be golden. I can disengage the ascent guidance, it doesn't do anything for us anymore. Come on, let's hit that 3000 kilometers. Our oh, apoapsis is going to be very high. 800, 850, 875. I think that should be good enough to for the 3000. At least it was in a simulation, so <laughs> let's hope it works here as well. Oh, another milestone. Yeah, 400 meters per second gives us a nice 12,000. Mmm, tasty. Another milestone of 400 kilometers, another 10,000 or 10 million. Uh, 5 minutes 35 seconds to apoapsis, and we are already at 660 kilometers downrange. More milestones. Altitude record of 500 kilometers. Tri uh, 
13 million, 600 kilometers, 15 million. Nice. At least on funding, we should be good. Yeah, that are at least two more upgrade points. Another two milestones. Altitude record of 700 kilometers, 18 million, and 800 kilometers, 19 million. Let's speed it up a bit. Downrange 1500 kilometers. Right at the upper ups, we are at downrange of 1,700. So yeah, we sh we should make the 3,000 easily. So, some radar station up here is like, what the hell is going on? What's coming at, at us? <laughs> and 3,000 contract complete. Another 63 million, nice. And uh, another speed record of 5,000 meters per second, and another 15 million. Oh, I like that. Alright, so let's grab that contract. And with all the money we got, we can buy a few upgrade points. Maybe keep 40 uh, yeah, keep 40, just to have a healthy buffer. Good, so we have... how many? Available 7. I think I want to put quite a lot into the VAB so we get better build times. And 3 into R&D. Good. So... Yeah, that helped quite a bit, and with the building time as well. Although I trained them too early, they lost the <laughs> X1 mission thing already, damn it. A2? Yeah, all of them. Oh no. Okay, so I've learned. <laughs> mission X1. How long does it take? 8 days. So oh, that's not too bad. Start, start course, uh, course and set the alarm. And the X1, prepare for air launch. Which takes four days. Uh, we are losing about four days, so that's not too bad. Let's see what kind of contracts we still have left. Altitude sounding rocket. Yeah, we can do that easily. And that brings us some nice funding. So I would say let's build a A1A. A4. A no, A8? A4? Oh, I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> Here, A4A. Can we upgrade the tank? Yes, we can, but then I have to tool it again, right? Right. But it's probably giving us quite the boost because that makes the tanks way way lighter so let's see how much need to be pressurized 
that one doesn't need to be pressurized, I think. Is it? Is it pressurized? No. So good. To aluminium. Also, while we're here, let's see if we can upgrade. Oh, 40 million. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, is it worth it? Rated burn time 115 seconds compared to 70 seconds. And that has a trust of 284.7. Oh, not much of a gain here. I don't think that the A9 is worth 40 million here. No, I think for now, for the contracts we got now, that will do just fine. So let's check that. Avionics. So right now the vessel is 11.4 tons. And we're supporting up to 13.5 tons. Alright. Let's check the tooling. Tooling cost of 7, almost 8,000. So that would be 8 million. Yeah, I guess we, we can spend that. Wait, 4.9? That's weird. Plus tooling cost uh, 4,000 and 3,800. Add 4,000 to plus 2,800 is in my head 7,800 <laughs> so that's either wrong or because that's the same diameter I don't know but okay fair enough won't complain about paying less good so that would be the C model right we got the A B and that's then yeah that's the C Okay, so save it and build one. Did I miss something here? No. No, no, no. It's all good. All good. So build. Or 599, so 5.9 million. No. 599,000. And while we're at it, add it to the build plan so I don't have to jump into the editor all the time to build these. Okay, so our first two guys, or our first two guys are set for the mission. Let's give Conrad and Jane also the mission course. I think it's completely for free. I don't see any money go, so that's good. The X1 is ready to air launch. Let's get us some daylight because that's very helpful to find the runway to land on. Yeah, that, that will do. All right, everything is ready. We will airdrop the plane 150 kilometers east of the space center heading west and Hillary Wood will be our first pilot God Godspeed Hillary <laughs> I hope you will survive Thank you. 
There we go. Mach 1. Got a old Mach 1 for 14. Then, uh, no, 12 seconds, 10 seconds now. Oh no, we dropped below, damn it. Come on, Mach 1. And we have to hold this altitude for 2 minutes 45 seconds. Come on. Need to speed up a little bit more. Yeah, let's, let's go full throttle until we reach Mach 1. There we go, Mach 1. down a little bit we need to manage the fuel so we can go for three minutes or how much is now two minutes nine seconds and that is done now just make sure to stay above mark one for the science High dynamic pressure. Yeah, I know, I know. You're quite far out. What, what does this downrange say? 100 kilometers. And we already blew through half of the fuel. So maybe let's go a little bit slower. Won't be the last flight and the supersonic science points we can grab later in later flights when we are at higher altitudes. Now at the moment I would say just make sure to get that flight time in to fulfill that contract and uh, reach the actual runway. We are subsonic now. Oh, and if you're wondering what that uh, autopilot stuff is, that's in the button here. That comes with the RP1 Express install. Link is in the description. What's the actual minimum throttle here? It probably doesn't tell me, does it? No, no, no. Probably can go a little lower. Yeah, maybe I should have dropped that 100 kilometers. <laughs> That's getting... oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We are still far away. Throttle down as slow as we can. <laughs> and the Kerbal uh, Hillary should be fine. If we have to, we can let that jump out and take the parachute, but would be a shame to lose the plane on the first flight.
Well, we definitely got the contracts done. So we can easily afford a new plane, but that's besides the point, right? <laughs> Uh, crude altitude record of five kilometers and crude speed record of 350 meters per second. Oh, we are running out of fuel any moment. And uh, we are still 50 kilometers away. Oh, I should have dropped at 50, uh, at 100 kilometers away. Okay, from here on, we are a glider. No, not too much, not too much. The runway is over there, I think. Yeah, pretty sure that's the runway. I wish we had some sort of ILS or other guidance system in the game too align better for the runway. I'm having a little bit of doubts that we will make it. <laughs> we are still 27 kilometers away. And altitude is 1900. Losing altitudes quickly. Maybe I can flatten it out a little bit. Our landing speed will be around 100 meters per second. A little bit below would be better. But, oh dear, we are, we are coming in quite flat here. I'm not sure if we will make it. We're at 800 meters already. Let me pull up a bit. Come on. Get a little bit of altitude. Get a little bit of altitude. And then 150, 150. Now down again. Now down again. Come on. We can ride it. We can ride it out. <laughs> Come on. down a bit to gain more speed again uh, doing so slightly there is the launch pad <laughs> come on we can make it we can make it I don't think so. We are going down quickly. Let's prepare for a water landing. Come on, come on. Push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. Oh. 
Ooh, that was not comfortable. <laughs> but actually, I think nothing on the plane broke. Well, now we have learned 150 kilometers is too far away. Maybe if I had managed to feel a little bit better. The following crew member will be on leave until 19 December 1953. That's fine, yeah. <laughs> they definitely deserve some vacation time <laughs> after landing in the water. Okay, did we get some signs? We didn't get any. Oh, probably we transmitted that. Did we? No. Why did we, did we get signs? We definitely... Oh, I forgot to activate it, didn't I? Oh, stupid me. I forgot to activate the signs. But it's alright. It's alright. And Hillary gained 1 XP, probably about how salty water tastes. <laughs> how do we look on the contract side? Breaking the sound barrier, we did get that, so that's good. And we also did the X-Plane Slow. Nice. Okay, I promise you next time we will land on an actual runway. <laughs> But that was it for today, and as I said at the beginning of the, of the episode, uh, the view numbers are not looking so great. So if you really want this series to continue, please make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment. And if you want to support my work as content creator, you can do that by clicking on the Patreon link down in the description, that would help a lot. Also you will get a special role on our Discord and your name at the beginning and the end of each episode. And if you are even looking for more content, my stream archive channel is linked in the description, where is also the link to my Twitch. And we got a lovely Discord community where you can join and show what you did in KSP or in other games or just hang out with me and friends. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I see you next time. Have a great day, bye bye!